morning guys welcome back to the vlog i'm having just the most ideal morning ever woke up went to the gym came home and i've just been reading on my egg chair with my kindle like this thing is seriously the best invention ever it feels different than sitting in a regular chair like just being able to like sway and swing and just not have a care in the world we got it from it was a local place called big sandy superstore but you can find them all over like i am so glad we got this so i have just been honestly trying to get back on track with my sleeping routine today is tuesday but on saturday i kid you not i think i got like two and a half to three hours of sleep because i drank and it, i have a problem where anytime I drink I cannot sleep it's just this weird thing like my body literally will just like I fall asleep just fine but I wake up within like three hours so very annoying oh and the reason by the way we were out and about we were actually in Pittsburgh for my friend Gaby's wedding which was such a mind trip like, Gaby and I met five years ago working for the news station in Dayton and like instantly like best friends love her so much but it's just so crazy that five years ago we both met our future husbands like the same exact time like i remember coming into work and actually i think i told gaby when we were at the gym like i met this guy his name is zach she's the first person i told about zach i don't know why i just didn't want to tell a lot of people and then i remember just a couple of months later well in those months we were trying to set gaby up with like everyone <laughs> and then a couple of months later she came into work and said she met a guy named ben and they just got married and it's just crazy that that was five years ago like how it doesn't make sense but this morning i just started a book called 20 years later so far it seems intriguing i've been loving having just like super slow mornings and just like really leaning into the morning because at night i almost feel like a lost soul after dinner i don't know what to do with my life like yeah i could read but I just like literally don't like evening slash nighttime. Is that weird? I like, I genuinely don't. Like morning, just from the second I wake up, it's just my favorite time. Oh, and random, but I actually went to the library and I got two library books, which this isn't, I this is not even that exciting, but just like holding a hardcover book feels so good. The first one is called The Girls. I read it in like a day and a half. It's about Larry Nassar and his sexual assaults on hundreds of gymnasts it was insane a really quick read but very disturbing but very good and then the other one silenced no more and this one has to do with jeffrey epstein which i still have to read but practically it's just easier for me to have my kindle but i feel like switching between both like library and kindle is a good solution but anyway i'm gonna get back to my relaxing morning oh my gosh the lighting looks so weird i don't know if you can see it's like dark but glowy <laughs> I'm about to do my hair and you guys know I have been on a hair journey over the last year. I just haven't been happy with my hair. First of all, I have naturally straight hair and so the easy solution would be wear it straight like that has been my dream to be able to wear my hair straight and be confident with it and it's just it's never been the case i always just felt like it looks limp and dead and almost like dry just not good like not a good situation and then this thing came into my life this is the zuvi halo hair dryer i'm so grateful to be working with zuvi on this video this thing has not only changed my hair but it's also changed my daily routine because before this if i wanted to wear my hair straight it was a whole schedule because I refuse to use a traditional blow dryer. I hate the way they feel. It feels like I'm literally frying my hair. And that's what it is. I mean, a traditional blow dryer is just blowing so much heat on your head. This thing though is unique because it uses light. And because of that, your hair is going to be shinier. Your hair is going to be healthier over the long term. And now that I've been using this for several months, I can notice that. And I'm also shocked by how much volume I finally have with straight hair because when I just let my hair air dry, there's no volume like I never gave myself a chance to actually like my straight hair and finally I actually do so I'm going to plug this in you have four settings to choose from care fast soft and style and I start out with the fast setting for my hair personally I've timed it in the past I can get it 100% dry in about five minutes so it's super fast you're not sacrificing on speed and that was a concern of mine I thought okay because it's actually good for my hair and because it's not producing all of this 
this heat, it's probably gonna take like 20 minutes to blow dry. No, it is so fast. And before I even tried this, when I was trying to figure out like, okay, why is this thing so popular? It was one of the winners in the Best of Beauty 2022 Breakthrough Awards for Allure. And they were comparing regular blow dryers to convection ovens. Like that's literally what it is. But because the halo uses light, it drives your hair fast, but without all of the damage. Okay, look at the amount of volume I already have in my hair. Like this is not normal for my hair type, but once I'm about like 90% of the way dry, I will take this little attachment, it's like a little magnet, and then that is when I will go in and kind of just style it a little bit more, give it some body, give it some shape. And when I do this, by the way, I am using the style setting on my Zuvi. I figured I'd come into the natural light to show you the finished results, which I've been rocking a middle part for the past few months, but if you really want to show off all of the volume, you could even do a little side part. The back is really, I feel like, what shows just how healthy my hair is. Like, I have not had breakage in so many months. I used to have my hair actually like fall off. Like, it would split in half and just fall off. That's how unhealthy it was. And fun fact, I shouldn't be proud of this. I haven't gotten a haircut in eight months, okay? I know I should, I know I should, but I don't have any split ends. Like my hair just feels so good. So if you guys are interested in trying out the Zuvi, I will have all of that information down below, as well as I might have a discount code for you. So right now Zuvi is having a 15% off Labor Day sale, but for even more savings, you can use code CLANCY5 for 5% off on top of that. After the sale, I will have a 12% discount code, so you could just use CLANCY12 for 12% off. It is pricey, like this is certainly an investment, but for me, it has been so worth it. Just with how healthy my hair has been and then how good it has looked and like how confident I've felt, I've just, I've been obsessed. So I'll have all of that information down below. I cannot recommend this product enough. I decided to film a TikTok get ready with me and one thing led to another. I ended up just embracing my inner girly girl today. This is one of my favorite dresses. It's so unique. I actually got it from a local shop here in Cincy. 10 out of 10 recommend shopping local. One, obviously you're supporting local businesses, but two, oftentimes you find more unique pieces. Like I have a couple of Abercrombie pieces I love, but I literally see another human wear once a week. Like when I'm out and about, I'm like, oh, I own that top. And obviously it's like, whatever. It's not like I'm trying to become the most unique person ever, but it's awesome just to have like a couple of unique pieces. Also have my pink headband and then a super pretty pink makeup look using, I talked about it I think in my last vlog, my Tartlet Juicy palette. I'm so freaking happy I got this thing and I honestly want to get more of the Tartlet palettes. I just think they have the prettiest colors. And today I decided to use this row of colors. I could do a tutorial. I don't know, it feels like such old school YouTube. No one does tutorials anymore, but I've just been loving, I don't know, like leaning into my inner girly girl, which I have to go grocery shopping today and I honestly feel a little self-conscious going out and about. It's funny, I feel nothing, like no, what's the word? Like I'm not self-conscious, I'm not worried about it. If I go out in baggy sweats, no makeup, hair in a bun, like don't think twice. If I dress up, I don't know why, I just feel so self-conscious. It's a thing I have to get over. I think I'm still scarred the first time I decided to wear makeup, like show myself wearing it because it was like, I think eighth or ninth grade and I just was experimenting. I would, you know, go into my bedroom, take my mom's makeup and then I would wash it all off before I would show anyone. And I remember thinking like, I have to like finally just like reveal myself to my parents. Like this is who I am. I love makeup. I'm not just like this tomboy. Like I'm, I'm growing up. I went downstairs, my brother saw me first and he said, you look like a clown. And <laughs> that just like stuck with me. Gotta get over that. But today is actually an exciting day because we're getting new furniture. So this is long awaited. We are going to be getting a new coffee table and then two side tables, which we decided to go with Crate and Barrel, but I actually haven't seen what they look like in person. I saw it online, I fell in love, but they didn't have it on display at our Crate and Barrel. Like they had a different color. So I don't know, like I really don't know what it's going to look like, but we have just not been pulling the trigger on certain things where I'm like, we just have to make decisions. So I'm so excited that the living room is almost done. Obviously we're gonna get rid of this and then I really do wanna go with two couches or two couches, two chairs to really complete the setup. And then possibly today I wanna go to Half Price Books to get more books for the bookcase. I wanna take out, like some of them just look bad. I just am using like books I already had 
This stack, for example, because these aren't hardcover, they just don't look as good as like some of the hardcover stacks. So I want to see if maybe I can get like another yellow stack. It all depends on what they have. I'm just making myself a little salad for lunch, but I have a serious question, guys. When did you discover avocados? Because first of all, adding an avocado to a salad, it, game changer. Like the entire salad is a different experience. It's just the creamiest, most delicious thing ever. But I, li oh, what? So this is devastating. All right, this is the, you guys know, if you know, you know, the avocado game, you just never know what you're gonna cut into. Now I'm scared that all of my avocados are gonna look like that. All right, this one isn't awful. Like there's definitely some browning, but I can, I can work through it. By the way, people shame me all the time when I post like, oh, that avocado was bad. How could you use it? I'm not a food waster. Like I will really, really go to the depths of the earth to not waste food. And like, yeah, I'm gonna cut around it. Like we're not just throwing out an avocado that otherwise is perfectly good. But anyway, question. When did you like start eating them or discover them? Because growing up, None of these good healthy foods were available to me. I don't know if like they just weren't mainstream, if my parents just like didn't know about them. Like we were having meatloaf and pork chops for dinner. Like the, uh, what? Like it, no wonder I hated dinner. It was the least favorite part of my day of having to sit at that table and pretend to eat. It just like, ugh, I hated it. I mean, and no offense to my parents, like obviously they were working and like these are just the foods I guess they knew of and liked. I don't know, but once I started discovering like avocado and quinoa and some of these superfoods, it just, it unlocked a whole new world for me. This is truly magical. And my biggest tip for salads is just add in as many fruits and vegetables as humanly possible. And also I love croutons. I'm a very big crouton girl, but they always have dairy in it. Like whenever I go to the grocery store, I try to find dairy free. It always says contains dairy. So I really want to find a good crouton recipe that's dairy free and I could just like make my own. But for now, this salad shall have to do and it's so freaking good. Yeah. Here's to the good days, here's to the sorrows. If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow. I don't want to fight no more because I don't feel the need no more. Guys, I absolutely love it. The furniture came when I was gone. I didn't know how it was gonna look and it's, once again, this is like the story of my life with this freaking house. Nothing is complete, but it looks so good. I am seriously obsessed. So, okay, let's go over what we got. We got this coffee table from Crate and Barrel. This is exactly what I was going for. It's kind of black it's almost like what i'd consider like an off black charcoal i think is the official color love that and i love it how it just ties everything together i was considering doing i can put some photos here like just super i feel like i see this in every influencer's home like that light wood but it just all felt a little too neutral and especially with our house we definitely have the black and white theme going like it's not just all light so love that i need to figure out like what to do with this coffee table because it's pretty big and obviously like that doesn't look good just like one stack of books so i need to figure out what i'm going to do with that and then we went with these side tables which we still need to get lamps that's just an old lamp from my apartment i'm thinking maybe like tying some sort of green in i also want to get green pillow covers to tie that in but i love these side tables they're kind of like a mix of like modern and sleek. I really like how it has like this with the marble. I'm just like obsessed. And then the book. So this is the side of the bookcase that's not looking so good. Like I need to keep building up the stack. I just didn't want to buy too many books. I don't know, like they add up, but that looks so good. I just took out some of the stacks that weren't as, weren't as stellar. So this is what it's looking like so far. And I'm just in love and also, so I actually low-key had a whole shopping expedition that I didn't vlog because I was driving and then I was like, you know what? Let me just go into Sephora. I didn't realize it was inside of Kohl's. I wasn't even thinking I was gonna buy anything. Like we need to sit down and like have a little talk because I have like a life hack life tip for you guys. Granted, there's a very good chance that every human on planet Earth knows about this besides me, but Kohl's. If you want to save money, go to Kohl's. This sounds like a sponsorship. It's not. Wish it was, but okay. This is twofold. So first of all, I walked into Kohl's. 
was walking past their Nike, Under Armour, Adidas section, and that always gets me. It does. I just love that type of clothing. Like, I have like two different personalities. Some days I'm this girl, other days I'm a sweatpants girl, but they add up, especially good quality sweats, like they're expensive. And I fell in love with two pairs, tried them on, really loved them and figured, you know what? Like, we're just gonna go for it. I just wanted to preface this. It was $50. Like this, these don't cost $50. These are way more than that. There's, there's some sort of discount that's happening here that I didn't even know about. Like it didn't say it on the clothes. Anyway, first things first is a workout top. My problem at Burn Boot Camp is I go in all these like baggy, loose fitting shirts. And then when I'm doing like burpees and things where I'm on the ground, my shirt like flies up to my face and my entire like stomach is showing like in my, my, my shirt's like about to fall off. It's like this weird thing where I see a lot of the girls wearing shirts like this that are fitted and they don't have that problem. So pick this up. The material is so good. Like it's like buttery soft. What brand? And yeah, this is Under Armour. It was supposed to be $35, but at Kohl's, it was like 13 bucks. What? Then I'm so excited about this purchase. I got some sweats, which I decided to go like an oversized route because when I'm trying to be comfy, I'm trying to be comfy. Like, I don't want to feel a seam. I don't want to, like, I need to be as comfy as possible, okay? I have problems with that. The material, amazing. I really like the color. I mean, white, I know it's like not practical in this world, but... I really, 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 really like these and they were like 30 bucks. So I was very happy with that. And then I stopped into Sephora where I learned that apparently if you go to the Sephora in Kohl's and you're a beauty insider, which is free to be, you get 10% off automatically. What? So she told me that and I was so stunned, so stunned. And I, I did a thing guys, I just had to, okay? The other day when I went to Sephora and I bought the Tartlet Juicy Palette, I saw this other one, it caught my eye, and listen, like I just, I have to have it, okay? It is the Tartlet Palette in Bloom, and this one is a lot more like neutral shade, but they are so gorgeous. Like I, I just, I love it so much. I also fell in love with a Patrick Ta palette. Has anyone tried any of his eyeshadows? Like I was too nervous to, to go for it without reading reviews, plus it was more expensive, but I don't know guys, I'm on like a makeup, kick morning guys i feel semi ridiculous with this headband but i've been trying to like switch up my get ready with me headbands because it just makes getting ready that much more fun but i have a semi unpopular opinion am i the only human on earth that does not like tinted sunscreen i am like not about this life it feels like i'm putting on makeup granted like i'm about to put this under my makeup so it's fine for that but just like on the day to day like i would much rather clear sunscreen that just glides right on. I feel like I'm one of those people where I'm either doing a full face of makeup or I am wearing nothing. Like I don't really love the no makeup makeup look. I think it's great, but if I'm gonna sit in front of my vanity and have my makeup in front of me, like we're just gonna go for it, you know what I mean? And I don't know, I just feel like greasy when I wear tinted sunscreen. I'm low-key excited to get ready today so I could use my new eyeshadow palette. It's a good feeling the first time you really dive into one. I have no idea what kind of a look I'm going to do, but let me do like my face first and then I'll come back. Okay, I actually really can't do anything crazy today. I am meeting with my little for the Big Brothers Big Sisters program and I, I, I can't show up, you know, in a full glam thing. The plan today is to go to BB Bop. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it. It's actually where Zach and I went on our very first date, which it's like a fast food type place, but we went there because the main date event was going to a soccer match. So we kind of just grabbed like a quick bite to eat I hated it. I, I hated it. I panic ordered though, and like I feel like I didn't get anything good. It's like an Asian type spot, and so the reason I am returning, I've not gone since in like five years, um, my little actually loves Asian food. And so I figured that could be like a cute little, she said she's never gone. So I'm like, oh my gosh, let me like, let's try this out. Whoa, that is way more pigmented than I was thinking it was going to be. We can fix this. That's the thing with makeup. You can always fix anything. But I've just been sitting here listening to my new favorite podcast. It's called The Unplanned Podcast with Matt and Abby. I discovered it because Taylor Lautner was one of their guests. And then I just started going down a rabbit hole of listening to all of their other episodes. And then I started going down a rabbit hole 
of watching Christian YouTubers who got married super young. Like there's just, I didn't even know this world existed on YouTube of just a whole bunch of couples channels where they got married at like 19 years old, started having children at like 20. It's just, it's crazy. I think I like it because it's so not relatable to me and my life, obviously. Because it's funny, like I feel like there's two different things on YouTube or social media. You either love watching someone because they're so relatable and they feel like a friend or someone who just has like a totally different life than you. And I feel like I'm just like, I'm so intrigued. So this is the finished look, which definitely a lot more smoky than I normally do when I hang out with my little, like we're just walking around the University of Cincinnati and grabbing lunch. But sometimes you just gotta go for the full glam. And I'm wearing this sundress because we only have a few sundress days left of summer. I'm so sad, like just, Mm, that's the only bad part about moving back to Cincinnati, but this is from a local, oh my gosh, not planned, but this is from the same exact boutique as yesterday's dress. And I just think it's super fun, love the pattern, and I'm just gonna put on some like white sneakers and then a white jean jacket because it's kind of chilly outside. Morning guys, it's the next day. I stopped vlogging yesterday because I literally just like spent the whole day with my little and obviously I'm not vlogging that, but just wanted to say I am going to be trying out the workout top today. I'm very excited. I laid in bed longer than I should have this morning. I considered not even going to the gym because I just feel so tired. I have not been like going to bed early enough, so that's my own fault, but we're going. Battle scars at the gym. I don't know if you can tell. I ran into a railing. Like we were doing laps outside and I just like ran into a railing. Kept going, act like nothing happened. I didn't even realize it was bleeding. That's not the part that hurts. It's my bone that's like screaming out in agony right now. So <sighs> clumsiest person ever, but I'm so happy I bought this workout top. Like I felt free and this was like seriously the hardest workout class in like the last year. This body weight conditioning, like I actually thought I was gonna puke everywhere. So that was great, but I'm really happy I went. And then I got a spray tan. The reason I'm doing a voiceover right now is because I feel like the next clips won't make sense without it. I actually stopped talking to the camera because I got some not so great news, which we'll talk about in a second. But yeah, got a spray tan. Then I spontaneously went to the Western and Southern Open, which is a tennis tournament here in Cincinnati. Got some Chipotle in the car, it was so good. And I can't believe it, but this is my first time actually going to the Western and Southern Open. Like I've gone as a reporter Order, but I didn't get to actually watch any matches. This was Tommy Paul versus Carlos Alcaraz. Carlos Alcaraz won. They were both so freaking good though, but tennis is like actually so interesting. Like we were there for three hours and actually we left early because there was a rain delay at one point. So we just left after the rain delay because it was about to be over and we kind of knew that Carlos Alcaraz was going to win. And then for dinner, I just grabbed some tropical what is it called? Like tropical cafe, tropical smoothie, one of those places. I just got a chicken sandwich. Okay, guys, I am back from the tennis match. I am purposely <laughs> not in the frame right now because my face, I don't know what happened. Uh, like this, this is... Spray tans always look a little crazy before you shower, but this is out of this world. Like, I am not, I am not a human right now. And the fact that I was out like this in public... <laughs> I know. I, I need to wash off my face right now, or at least try, like, to scrub a little because, uh, like, it can't marinate for another second. I'm, I'm not, like, I'm not looking too hot, so. That is what we are doing. Okay, we're making moves. Wow, that's nuts. The whole reason I got this spray tan, by the way, is because I just have, like, extra for the wedding. I got a four spray tan session package where it was like buy three get one free so i got four of them for 120 bucks which is really good like it's the person doing it to you like the rest of my body looks good like it looks good it's just a little dark um so each one was 30 bucks like that's such a good deal but this is definitely like just a little much a little aggressive all right i'm seeing progress i'm liking what i'm seeing I'm gonna chat with you guys tomorrow because today I got some not so good news and I'm just like, <laughs> I'm not even in the mood to talk about it. Like I'm just like, life is a mess. This is, this sums up my life right now. This is my life, okay? Yep, this is it. <laughs> Hello, it is the next morning. I just got out of the shower. I think things are looking a lot better. I feel like it was just the initial, like when you get a spray tan, you have your spray tan and then there's like a bronzing thing that goes on top and you really just gotta wash that off before seeing the results. So I'm very happy about this. And honestly, like the big thing with, you know, 
laying out getting tan because I look back on you know pictures from summers in the past where I looked so tan and I'm jealous like I'm looking at it and I'm like oh I had that like just bronze glow it's so good but the thing about that bronze glow is it literally lasts like what two weeks but the sun damage from that lasts a lifetime so I'm just saying and by the way like I obviously like I, I it's not like I'm you know hiding under an umbrella or anything I just am not deliberately laying out and baking but i think i mentioned it yesterday that i got some bad news guys you know that i recently applied for a job which this is the first job i applied to since leaving tv news i always just kind of said like i'm open to it but i'm not I'm not, I'm not just out here applying for anything, right? Like, and, and I, I always give a disclaimer, it's a very fortunate position to be in, I know that. But obviously YouTube is my full-time job, so it's not like I'm just sitting here doing nothing. So I haven't really like had any luck with finding any jobs that I would really like. And then all of a sudden, gosh, this was like a month ago at this point, <laughs> a long time ago, I got a notification on LinkedIn for a job you might like. And I actually really thought, A, I would like it, but B, I'd be good at it. Like I was thinking to myself, oh my gosh, I could really do good things for this company. Cause I don't want to go into a job unless I know I am going to be able to like help in some way. You know what I mean? Like I don't want to just fall into a job where I'm like, oh my gosh, like honestly that was like reporting. When I first started out in my reporting career, I would be working way more than 40 hours. I'd come in on Saturday mornings when no one was there to get ahead on work. I never logged overtime because I was thinking to myself, I am literally a hindrance to this company. Like. Like they're probably losing viewers and ratings based on how awful I am. <laughs> so yeah, that was my mindset then. So I don't want that. I want to go into a job where I'm like, I actually think I can be an asset. So that's what I thought with this job. I applied and then I had a phone screening. It was just like 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes with a recruiter that was based out of New York actually. The job, like everything would have to be, would be Cincinnati based, but this was based out of New York. And then I got an email yesterday saying they decided to go in a different direction and that my, what is it? Like my, my experience doesn't match, whatever. Like there are other people who match their criteria better. So honestly, it's a bummer. It definitely is. But at the same time, I don't know. I am just such a believer of like, okay, then it wasn't meant to be. Maybe I would have been miserable. Maybe I would have, I don't know. I've just had enough experiences in my life where I don't get what I want. And then I look back and I'm like, thank God that, I don't know. It, it's like, it really helps me to see that. Obviously it's never fun to get rejected from anything, but it's life. And I really do think you learn more about yourself and about life in the times of like rejection and when things aren't so great as opposed to when everything is going great. So it is what it is. And I'm purposely not saying the job title. I don't know why I feel weird. Like not that I bat, I don't, I didn't say anything bad about this company. I just don't ever want to like bash a company or be like, I applied here and they didn't take, like, I just, I don't want to like give specifics. I think I'm being open enough telling you I applied for a job and got rejected. But yeah, I mean, the plan from here is just to continue like keeping my like, well, I always get the saying wrong. I say keeping my eyes open. Is that keeping my eyes peeled? I feel like that's the that's the saying. But yeah, I mean, just to see if something comes because that particular job definitely wasn't my path, so to speak. But there are other jobs out there. And I remember distinctly when I was in college and one of my um, housemates was getting like job rejection after job rejection right before we were about to graduate. Like I remember saying to her, and I've always thought back on this advice, cause this is advice I told myself when I was getting various rejections from internships. And gosh, when I, you know, was just starting out reporting guys, I don't even know how many jobs I applied to. I think I applied to like 60. And the ironic thing is the job I took, I didn't even apply to. Like how weird is that? I applied to so many jobs, only heard back from however many. And then the one that I actually got, I didn't even apply to. So yeah, but I remember telling my housemate, it only takes one yes. You don't need a million yeses. Like they're irrelevant to you. Is it a nice like ego stroke? Yes, because you're like, oh well, like all these people want me, but who cares? They're irrelevant because you can't say yes to more than one person. So get your nose, you're gonna get a lot of them, it's okay. And then boom, you just need one yes, that's all you need. So that's what I'm telling myself now. I always try to show you guys like the whole picture of life, not just the times when I come on camera and I'm like, I got a job or like, I got this because there are many times in between and that's true for anyone's life. So anyway, I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. I think Zach and I are like maybe doing like a grill out at our friend's house tonight. Tomorrow we have a wedding. 
So we've got a fun weekend in store and the weather is supposed to be so nice, which I'm so excited about. But anyway, love you guys so much. Talk to you later. Bye.